Hello and welcome everyone to the Week Ahead Commodity Report for the 10th to the 14th of December 2018 presented by myself, Phil Carr, at the Gold and Silver Club. So today, of course, we'll be reviewing the markets for the week ahead. We'll be going through gold, silver and also crude oil. Last week, we saw some explosive moves in the market, most notably on Friday on both non-farm payrolls and also the decision from OPEC to cut production. And that's had a big impact here on oil prices and the non-farm payroll data has helped to catapult gold higher here up to a five-month peak on Friday as the dollar slid following on from the weaker than expected US jobs data which added to expectations that the US Federal Reserve may go slow on interest rate hikes as we go into next year. So into the close on Friday gold is now sitting at five-month highs. We also have a buy signal on silver going into next week and oil prices also ended up 2% higher on Friday after OPEC members and allies like Russia agreed to reduce output to support the market. The agreement is for 1.2 million barrels per day total output cut. So with that, we'll move over to the charts and we'll show you the key levels that we're looking at as we go into next week. Firstly, let's have a look at crude oil. So US oil on Friday certainly got a bump higher on the announcement of the OPEC agreement. And with that, we saw oil rally back above 54 US dollars per barrel. In fact, at the peak of the move here, US oil was up over 3% on the day. And over the last week US oil is now up 3.5% so we have a positive close here for oil we in fact filled the gap which was created at the weekend from positive sentiment coming out of the G20 meeting we filled that over the course of the week where it looked like at the end of the week that we weren't going to see any sort of agreement and that certainly helped to slide prices lower for oil retesting the swing low of 50 US dollars per barrel over the last week US oil has moved within a $4 range. So we've moved between $50 up towards $54. What I would note here is we certainly have a positive close here on Friday. And if we move over to the weekly chart here, we have a higher low, a higher close, and also a higher high. We've got, again, an indecision candle on the weekly, but we are starting to see a reversal from some key zones that we mentioned on last week's week ahead report here as well. So we're seeing certainly support come in right at the lower end of this major channel, which goes all the way back to two. 2016. So we've got the swing lows here from April of 2016, marrying up with June 2017. And then we're finding support around the 50 to 52 US dollars per barrel level. That has been a major level. And you can see here where a previous level of resistance is now becoming some support here as well. It's a very key level around 50 to 52 US dollars per barrel. The anticipation would be here because we've had seven weeks of consecutive lower lows, lower highs and lower closes. And we are very oversold at the moment with oil. The positive sentiment that could come about from this OPEC agreement could certainly lift oil higher here in the coming weeks, especially from a seasonal point of view as well, where often this time of year does tend to favour more upside with oil prices. So as we go into the rest of December here, if we do get another break back above the weekly highs here, we could then start to make a move back towards the 55 to 56 US dollar per barrel level. That would really be the next key level of resistance that I would look at if oil can gain a bit more momentum from here, some sort of V-shaped reversal recovery in price, given that we have again got a higher low, higher close, and also a higher high on the weekly chart. And we've got the potential for some positive sentiment coming out from this OPEC announcement. If you go back to previous OPEC announcements over the last four or five years you will note normally that within 24 to 48 hours of a resolution from OPEC we can often see three to four hundred point moves for US oil and that's what we saw certainly yesterday when we were trading at the daily lows on Friday we actually rallied from the low to the high after we actually had that announcement come out later on in the session it was about a 350 point move which is in line with what you would normally expect on an OPEC announcement what I'm looking for now is the follow-through move which can certainly last a couple of weeks and that is still to be decided in some respects here. So what I would look at going into next week is we have closed above this major trend channel, which was in play during this whole downward cycle here with US oil, where we saw over a 32% decline to the downside over that six to seven week period. We have now broken and closed above that downward trending channel. So now we are finding some support that we've broken out of that downward trend. We could start to form a bit of a base here as we go into next week. There's still more work to be done here on oil. So I would like to see certainly if we were going to see more follow through and the potential for a bull flag here as well going into next week. If we were going to see more follow through, what we'd really need to see 
is obviously a continuation of this price action to the upside going into next week. Some sort of bull flag, which then lends into a rally at the beginning of next week with a retest back towards a monthly pivot here as well. That's what oil would need to do to confirm more upside. On the flip side of that, of course, if oil does not sustain the rally and the positive sentiment coming out of the OPEC deal on Friday, and if it rolls over again, it is then vulnerable to a retest back towards 50 US dollars per barrel. And if we were to break below 50 US dollars per barrel and really breach this underlying level of support at $49.50, we could then start making a move back towards the next key levels of support, which would reside at $47 and then 45 US dollars below that as well. But I would certainly keep an eye on the weekly charts here as well, because we are at a point where we could start to see a reversal and the positive sentiment which has come out as a result of OPEC may be able to lift the prices higher here going into next week. So certainly I would have oil on the radar here as we go into next week. Note too that silver, particularly on the weekly chart here, we've got a fairly strong buy signal for silver on the weekly chart, which closed at $14.60 per ounce here on Friday. So on the weekly chart, we've actually broken through this major downward trending channel, which has been in play for quite a while now. So going all the way back to July, we've popped above that level of resistance. And in fact, certainly Friday's non-farm payroll helped as a catalyst with the US dollar weakness and precious metals overall gaining momentum here. So I am watching silver very closely as we head into next week, we're sitting around the resistance zone at $14.60 per ounce going into next week. We have been moving within a range over the last few months here since August of between $14 US dollars per ounce all the way up to approximately $14.90 per ounce. But we could be at a point, certainly from a seasonal point of view as well, as we get towards the end of December and into January in particular, where we may get a run up back towards the $15 level. And of course, if we break above a lot of that resistance, we'll then be looking to then take out the five month highs and that's where we could see silver then make a move back towards the upper end of this recent range. A good example of that, of course, is gold, which on Friday broke and closed back above the 200-day moving average. Gold has now broken above the five-month highs. This time of year, gold does tend to perform well from a seasonal point of view as well. And also note the recent narrative from the Federal Reserve since we had Jerome Powell's speech a couple of weeks ago that overall the US Federal Reserve may go slower on interest rate hikes as we go into next year. And that, of course, would create more weakness for the dollar and the potential for gold and silver to continue to rally here throughout December and into a cyclical move as we go into January as well. So where we're at right now, we've closed at 1,248 US dollars per ounce on Friday. A lot of traders will likely note that we have closed above the 200 day moving average as we go into next week. If you look at gold on the weekly chart as well, you can see where we've broken out from this major pennant formation. Been quite important here, the neckline that we've broken out from with gold over the last weeks. So we've really pushed higher up towards the five month highs and I would look for the potential for continuation here in the coming weeks. So certainly oil, gold and silver should all be on your radar at the moment, particularly following on from Friday's weaker than expected non-farm payroll data. This really sets up for some great trading opportunities between now and the end of December and of course moving into January as well. Now of course if you'd like to join us at the Gold and Silver Club, be part of a community of successful traders and get access to all of the trades that we're taking in real time. So you get trade alerts via WhatsApp, email and SMS. There is an opportunity for you to join us at the Gold and Silver Club. As a member of the Gold and Silver Club private members live trading room, you get access to our live trade alerts, mentorship, expert advice, in-depth market analysis, and trusted insights so that you can know earlier how to act quicker and maximize your return on every trade opportunity. For more information, please visit www.jointhelivetradingroom.com. The link is also below this report in the description. So just click on the link, make an application, and we will, of course, get in touch with you ASAP. And also make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you're kept updated with the latest commodity reports.